today it is Tuesday, I'm about to work on my carriages. I didn't film a lot these past days, past weeks, because I'm about to move in 10 days, I mentioned that already. Um, there were a lot of things I already had to do. I had to go very often uh, on, in my new kingdom to decide a lot of things, to prepare a lot of things. So yes, I, I was very messy and I was quite disorganized in my work. I also have things happening in this place. I had forgotten my windows uh, were supposed to be changed and I thought it would happen at the end of June. Um, it happened actually at the end of May. Um, I had a few hours to, to remove everything which were close to the windows um, before the workers came to change the windows. So it was pretty intense and I had to leave at the park. and I'm also going to bring you with me in my filming of the carriages uh, when I will film my little video in the city which is going to be my last video really uh, in Lyon because I'm going to move uh, in another city and um, I will come quite often because they are kind of sister city and it's very close um, but it's not going to be the same as living here um, forever I've been there this past 15 years so it's going to be a big change this um, this move and this new chapter of life I have a added a rabbit and he is not exactly the same hair as we have in the carriage workshop for those who have done this workshop it's not exactly um, he's not in the same position but the technique is very close and uh, he's going to have things in his hands I don't know what yet I have a snail which is not finished yet it's just the sculpting part which has been done on a wheel and I'm going to decor it on the other side I have also some other sort of um, Topinary trees, I don't know how you call that, and I have to, to paint the inside. It's not um, the other side is pretty close to the other. I try to make them as close as possible <laughs> when you are painting uh, a carriage. It's not always easy to see what you're doing on the other side, but I think it's going to be quite close. And of course, I have some, I made a lot of stains, I have all, the, all this to fix, and I'm also working on this other character who is at the other side of the carriage and as I'm talking it's super raining outside it's kind of a tempest we are in just in June and it's the weather is terrible today at the top of the carriage I'm creating a lot of apricots fruits pumpkins crazy pumpkins raisins grapes all sorts of things and I also had this idea because of the book of Luca that I showed you in the past video because he, I loved the idea of a king gardener who loved his garden so much that he decided every detail, everything, every plant that he also uh, imagined just the two people were supposed to do when he, they were in his garden. I really loved that. And I find a lot of ideas in this guide of Versailles. You have a lot of fountains, of gardens, of parks, of pots. Um, I think it's quite inspiring. So. I tried to have this book on my desk and see, it's an old one by the way, super old one, but the, the ideas are still good. I also wanted to mention two videos you might find interesting if you love carriages, if you love the history of carriages, if you're an apprentice magician and role in the carriage workshop and you need some inspiration. So this is a video made by Le Chateau de Versailles. They have a super nice YouTube channel you should check out because it's really, really full of inspiration, interesting details, knowledge, you will learn a lot. It's always translated and this one is about the different carriages there have in display in the carriages gallery. I don't know exactly where it is in at Versailles in the in the place, but I definitely want to see that for in person because they look really really spectacular and you will learn a lot. You will also learn all the history of the carriages, the different sorts, uh, what what sort of progress, technical progress they made throughout the years. So it's super interesting. 
uh, you will find it just under the video or probably above my head for sure under the video. And there is also this video which features Hélène Delalex who wrote these beautiful books about Marie Antoinette, about Louis XIV and uh, she's a super super interesting writer. I love her books, her style, the stories she shares and she works at Versailles. She also takes care of all these big exhibitions and she talks about the carriages. So now I'm just about to leave and to go to a boring dentist appointment. I wouldn't share that unless there was something pretty unexpected in the dentist building. So I love this sort of things when you have been uh, in front of a building mm, thousand times maybe, you have never imagined what was behind, uh, what was hidden behind the doors. Um, in this building, behind the doors, there is a unicorn, which is quite fascinating. The building is super pretty. I would say it's from the 17th century, I'm not really sure. It's quite old for sure, and there is a beautiful painting at the last floor. And it makes this sort of <laughs> boring things, boring adventure, it makes them much, much more exciting when you have a unicorn and a beautiful painting, which is currently refreshing, uh, refreshed by an artist because it was damaged. Uh, yes, it makes these little adventures much more exciting. So, so I couldn't not share it with you because I think you would love that. On the ceiling of the carriage, I have made a painting. You can't see it super, super well. There is some, uh, a blue sky and some flowers and sort of trees. You can't see really well. I really, it's really for the person who will own the carriage because you need... Yes, I think here you can see a bit. So finish this thing. I've done my painting. I'm going to add a few details uh, on, the, on the walls and there's going to be some surprises inside. Mr. Rabbit is almost finished. I think I have a few details and some accessories to add. Tiny little things to, to, to add but it's pretty much finished. So today is Sunday. I was supposed to film my carriage in Lyon. I, I have a story I want to film and all that. Unfortunately, it's already the end of the afternoon and I have finished the outside. I want to add a few things inside the carriage. It could work this way, but it's empty. I wanted to add a little something inside. So I'm going to film that next week very quickly. I will try to be quite organized. I'm just about to move in the new kingdom. So I will have one week a little messy. And I'm already starting my cardboard in today, so we will see what we can do. For sure you will see everything because I'm going to film a lot of things too about my new studio and all that. At the end of June you will see all that. And uh, the, the, this carriage and the teapot carriage will be both in my Etsy shop at the end of June. So this is my bird who is at the back of the carriage. You can see how it looks like. So this is his costume, there are other fruits here. There's also some fruits on his hat, above his hat. Thank you for watching this vlog. So now I'm going to prepare all my mess to organize all my cardboards, my boxes and all that. The next vlog will be filmed in the new place for sure. So I'm excited to see you in the new kingdom. If you didn't subscribe to the channel, you can do it. This way you won't miss the next videos. The next video will be the video with the big carriage because this one I will film it for sure uh, next week before totally moving. So I will leave you here and wish you a very beautiful day.